Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't been here before, hi, I am Bella. Great to have you here. And I'm super excited about today's video. It's been a while since I sat down and actually filmed something and I'm excited. So I just wanna get into something really quick. As you can tell by the title of this video, um, I stand with Blair White. I just like didn't really know what else to um, title this video. Um, I haven't posted in a long time and I feel like I just like lost the spark for YouTube. I also felt like I couldn't vocalize and say the opinions that I genuinely felt out of fear of losing an audience that like I worked really hard to get and that I really love and I feel like I have created such like a relationship with over the course of literally four years. So I just decided to stop posting. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to hop on here and just like make a few things clear and just finally say like some of the thoughts, opinions, and stances that I have. I've been listening to Blair White's podcast a lot lately and she kind of continuously makes a statement that trans women, trans people in the community really do need to stand up and need to really say their opinions and their thoughts. Like she's constantly getting messages and constantly getting DMs from people saying that they agree with what she's doing, but don't actually speak out about it themselves. And so I really just can't be one of those people anymore. Um, and when I say I stand with Blair White, I may not stand with every single little thing that she says or agrees with or political stances or everything but overarchingly like I totally agree with her and honestly this fucking community is a bunch of goddamn clowns like literally like I am so actually embarrassed sometimes like so embarrassed about like the trans community and it's not even like specifically like trans people but it's like the they thems the non-binaries the this the that the all the letters getting added like it's just become a fucking mess and i feel like it's embarrassing to be associated with that i feel like i feel like honestly i'm in a category of being a trans woman where i just want to like I just want to like assimilate with society like and I feel like that is something that's always been very very clear like on my YouTube channel like how to pass and what to do to pass and feminizing makeup tricks and how to talk and what outfits to wear and getting surgeries and like all of these things and I feel like it's really frustrating when there is a group of people that have a louder bark, like a louder yell, that have a, a more harsh approach to it that tends to get more attention, um, that don't feel like that's necessary, that don't feel like physical transitions and assimilating with society and, and presenting as the gender you feel is necessary. And it, and it spreads like a lot of misinformation and it's fucking frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. Like an example off the top of my head that I can think of from like woke lib TikTok and stuff is literally I've seen a TikTok of a trans woman that is appearingly a man with like stubble and facial hair with like a shitty wig on, like, like not makeup. Like it just like wasn't appearing as if there's any effort present to physically transition or appear as a female and like rock on people transition at all different ages but I've seen many many trans women that transition later in life and make those changes and put in the effort and they may not be the most passable like fishy like cunty looking girl but the effort is there and you know what they're what they're like presenting as but it was a TikTok of this person and they were saying like if you don't date trans people like you're transphobic like 
no, that's not transphobic. That is a preference. Like, people are allowed to do that. Like, I am straight. I like dating men. Like, I don't want to date a woman, but it doesn't mean that I'm, like, anti-women or anti-feminist or anti, like, fucking vagina. Like, it just means, like, that is just not my preference. And, like, that is okay. Like, it's just, like, these extremist views that are getting, like, tacked on to, like, this community is fucking frustrating like we actually need to abandon it and like fucking create our own or like fix what's going on because it's actually embarrassing and I just feel like I've bit my tongue for so long and I just was thinking about it the other day and I was like I need to just like put this out because I feel like I want to speak up I love the people in the community that do speak up like Blair is definitely like the one that comes to the forefront of my head especially because she's a trans woman and I've been watching her for a long time and I've respected her for a long time and I give her a lot of credit for what she says and what she believes in and her consistent battle with the community and I just feel like it was time that like I joined in on that like it's it's so hard to just sit back and watch all of this misinformation and things that I don't agree with come to the forefront of media um and just like it's difficult because I feel like there's this there's this idea that being trans is you know harder than ever and people are getting discriminated against and all of this stuff coming from these videos and these protests and whatnot and like trans rights are human rights like yeah I got it but like what rights do we not have like, I don't get it. Like, I can get married. I can have kids. I can change my name. I can buy property. I can get a job. I can have a car. I can have health insurance. I can do everything that everyone else can do. So I don't understand, like, what rights we don't have. Um, that's, like, first and foremost. And then second of all, like, the whole, like, drag queen, like, kids went to drag shows. And when that's appropriate and when that's not appropriate and like why it's necessary and why it's not necessary like I think there's so many intricate topics that I can like speak on that I definitely have opinions on another one like kids transitioning um and then detransitioners like there's just so much that can go into it even like the Dylan Mulvaney like Bud Light thing like I definitely have been keeping up on stuff and paying attention but I just have never spoken my opinions and I've just kind of like kept my mouth shut and I'm just like over it I'm tired of it and Blair was totally right in her podcast when she was like people need to start stepping up because this change isn't gonna happen and I've seen this massive decline in the community and acceptance and in media and in everything over the past seven years since I've been transitioning it was not a fucking mess like this seven years ago it maybe wasn't as socially normalized seven years ago but it also wasn't I feel like so many people didn't have like a negative opinion on trans people they didn't have such a negative opinion on the community like I feel like now things have become so extreme and people are getting so fucking woke and they're becoming such fucking messes on social media and they're speaking louder than the normal fucking trans people living everyday life that are just living life they're speaking louder they're yelling louder and the shit that they're saying isn't something that I agree with and I feel like if anything it's gotten more difficult for trans people because people that weren't educated people that didn't have the information people that didn't have the experience before are seeing all of this stuff on social media and all of this woke stuff and are just completely turned off to the idea are completely like oh no I don't stand with that or I don't support that and it's almost like it's hurting more now than it was then at least from everything that I'm seeing and like witnessing and it's just like and I feel like a lot of trans women feel this way like I definitely follow some girls on social media and some platforms um some platforms with like the dolls and you know trans women and whatnot and like overarchingly like I feel like everyone's like this is a fucking mess and this is embarrassing and like I don't agree with that and like I don't stand with that so I just felt like it was fucking time that I came out I said it. I stand with Blair White I want to speak up I want to speak my opinions more and really like get a little bit more fulfillment out of it I feel like it's 
it needs to happen. And like, I do have a small platform, but also like, I have a small platform, but it's not nothing. And I'm tired of these other fucking people speaking louder and making everyone think that that's how all trans people think and believe and act because that is not the case. I will not stand for that and I will not allow that to happen and I want to be part of the change that I feel like is important and I feel like is necessary. Definitely a different first video back for sure but I just really had to get it all off my chest. Like I've been thinking it for a long time. I just needed to make a video and put it out there. And yeah, <laughs> like it like needed to happen. So um, I hope that my subscribers that have been here for a long time and have supported me for a long time, um, see where I'm coming from. And even if you don't agree with it, you can stay subscribed if you don't agree with it and it upsets you, then you can unsubscribe. Um, this isn't gonna be like the whole premise of my channel, but it is necessary to speak what you believe and share the opinions because if one group is yelling louder than the other, then you're just like agreeing to be silenced and not share a counter perspective. And like, it's like, trans people need to say it like I can say it because I'm trans if it comes from a different group of people it's not going to be respected and it's not going to be received the same way and it's not people just getting marked as like transphobic or hating the community or you know a conservative or republican or like adding labels to diminish someone's opinion so I just feel like it's really important and I'm excited to be back I'm excited to finally fucking get that weight off my shoulders and I'm excited to make more content again. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Start a debate. Give me your perspective. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with stuff Blair says? Do you not agree with stuff Blair says? Like, do you, do you think that woke TikTok is good? Do you think it's bad? Like, I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>